Hi guys, it's the Neil Shoop here and today we've got Cardiff at home but before we make our way to the den let's have a look at today's opposition. Cardiff managed by Errol Bullock currently sit mid-table in the championship. They don't really have anything to play for anymore. It seems like at this stage of the season the playoffs could may well just be out of reach for them and of course we're only just four points off the relegation zone but the three points today could pretty much confirm, you know, our championship status for next season. So without further ado, let's get ourselves to the SE16, shall we? Come on, you Lions. Right then, come on, mate, with me today, Ben. What do you reckon? It's a championship, you know, Cardiff, mid-table, but it was just sore. Doesn't mean much, does it? Mid-table. But it's make or break for me all now. I've got a follow-up from the Leicester win. I'll be the same as Tuesday. I'm going to one-nil. Come you Lions. Come you Lions. As you can see, I've arrived at the day the team moves. It's out, there has been one change from the side that played Leicester on Tuesday night. Honeyman is, of course, out of injury, and Rome Leicester is dying. Really happy to see him get a start. My score prediction for today, sun's out, I'm feeling confident. Going to back us for a 2 0 win with Obatemi and Tanganga to get the goals. Come, you Lions. No one likes us, no one likes us, we don't care, we are Millwall, super Millwall, we are Millwall from the den. 12 minutes on the floor and I've got to say, we have definitely been the dominant side so far, can't even take this list. Cardiff one. Uh, got that. I think that's what the time thinks he's got to be doing there. Then near post. Uh, very good. Cool. We don't care, we are Millwall, super Millwall. No, no, no. Oh no! It's half time at the dead, Millwall 2, Cardiff 1. And I've got to say, I think throughout that half, we were very dominant. Cardiff friend us, you know, very, very rarely apart from their goal that half. So moving on to the second half, let's hope we can thank you for your company Right then, half time for this. It's been a scrappy game, but you know, the standout, Eze, Eze. It's been unbelievable, it's been a difference in the two teams. He set up the second goal. Can't really argue with 2 1. It's been a scrappy game, but. Pretty lines. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 16 minutes on the clock, and I've got to say, he has been quite a smooth test this second half. It's giving him training for two lines. Over Femi is coming off and Tom Bradshaw is coming on. Fair play for Over Femi. Definitely the best performance in the middle of the third today. Definitely the second half. About me saying he had a very good option today. Inches away. Go on, say, I feel he's missed off two knees. They're going to come back to fire us. Ah. Let's go around. 
about 10 minutes to go here and usually now I'd say a squeaky gun time is on but I'll be honest kind of ain't really give us a reason to be squeaky about anything they've offered nothing for second half As you can see, I am back home and as you saw it finished at the den, Millwall 3, Cardiff 1. And I think it is very fair to say that the Cardiff players today were already on the beach. I think you could tell, you know, they were just giving it maybe maximum 25%. It was 100%, you know, in my opinion, anyway, just total domination from us from the start to finish. You know, Cardiff rarely ever threatened us in that game, don't think. I can't really recall them having any good chances in the second half. So, yeah, absolutely buzzing, mate. Hats off to Sir Neil Harris. I think that pretty much this win confirms our championship status. So, yeah, over the moon, mate. So, we move on to Sunderland next week, which I most likely will not be at. Come on, you lions. <laughs> <laughs> 